Buenos dias boys! Today we are here with another video. Now I wasn't going to make a video because of the live stream we're going to be having in like an hour it looks like. Um, but I just wanted to make a really quick one because I got a request for this yesterday while I was talking to someone. And I today I'm going to show you the first game I ever made with Unity. I made this about six months ago in about the span of a week. Um, because I, it probably would take me a lot less time now, but this was when I was barely first learning how to play, and so I didn't really know what I was doing. And so I had to look up tutorials all along the way. And if you've ever, this is supposed to be like a clone, a modern clone of the Atari, <clears throat> excuse me, the Atari 2600, um, adventure game. You can play it online if you just look up Atari Adventure in Google and see how well I did. Um, it's a fun little game. It's actually kind of hard, um, but I really enjoy it and so does my wife. As my wife especially enjoys it and that's why I decided to kind of make this clone. And so as you can see here we are. There's the dragon and there's the bird. Um, the bird will pick up anything he comes into contact with, like that key, which is actually kind of awful <laughs> because I don't really want that to happen. Um, and as you can see, as I transfer between the scenes, my color will change and such. This castle is really low quality just because of the way that I drew it. I drew it in pixels. So this is actually how many, you could count the pixels in this thing. And I didn't scale it right, and so it just looks kind of funny. Um, I would have to go through and rescale everything, and it would be awful to make it look more HD. Um, and then the, yes, earlier we saw the dragon as well. Now that dragon, I believe his name is Yavin. The bird's name is Becky. Um, Yavin is because he's yellow. And Becky is because she is a bird and black. <laughs> um, so it starts with that. There's the key. I'm going to grab it from her. No. Okay. Oh, now she got me. So she can pick up anything she comes into contact with, um, which is unfortunate for me. And so I have to reset. And so this stupid debug thing pops up. And now Becky has the black key, which is great. Um, normally I would be done with this by now, but because of the way this is going. So if I use, if you saw I use the yellow key on my own castle, I can grab the sword. And this is also, you should not be able to move that. Oh, it looks like the sword can move it, but I can't. That's interesting. I need to fix that. That's where you're supposed to put the trophy at the end of the game. So while you're holding the sword, if you hit a dragon with it, you can kill the dragon. This is Gary. Gary is like my whacked up thing that I did just for fun. So basically he comes at you and then, oh he actually ate me. <laughs> but basically he comes at you and then he starts spazzing out and now he ate me. So. Gary is pretty fun. I had a lot of fun making him. Let's kill him though. Just because he's kind of annoying, especially once he gets out of his little box here. Um, so yeah, up here is a maze which you have to navigate to get to the end. And the yellow dragon should be somewhere around in here if he didn't glitch out of the map. Sometimes they can glitch out of the map and it's really unfortunate, but it looks like Becky has dropped the black key somewhere, which means we're kind of screwed. Oh, there it is. Oh no, I forgot how my maze went. <laughs> um, I had to draw this maze out on paper. There was no way that I could do it otherwise. Now here's a problem with the way I have the sword set up. I can't drop the sword somewhere where I can't get it or else I won't be able to pick it back up. But I need to leave that because I can only carry one thing at a time. So it looks like the green dragon glitched, or I mean the yellow dragon glitched out of the map. So that kind of sucks. But we're going to grab the trophy from the black castle and we're going to have to, dang it, navigate back through the maze 
without getting picked up by the bird which is what happens so I have to reset and as you can see I kind of keep a reset count um, just because I is it this way I think so no bird no um, but yeah I think what happened is I think Becky was carrying the yellow dragon and then she dropped it outside of the map so I think that's what happened to the yellow dragon dang it every time and I'm not, I can't remember if I made it so you can kill the bird. Don't grab the trophy bird. I need that. Okay, now we go back to our yellow castle. And you used to could cheat. I used to make it so that when you reset, you didn't drop your item. Um, just in case you were like carrying the key when you got eaten by the dragon. But then I realized that when you got the trophy, you could just reset, which was kind of awful. And Becky's movements are just random. She doesn't track you. She just bounces around. Um, the dragons, however, will track you. Yavin tracks you within a radius. And Gary tracks you until he hits you. At which point he just starts spazzing out. Um, but yeah, I think those are errors. Because I actually... Th don't remember I think it had something to do with certain USB devices but as you can see once we touch this I'm unable to move the colors change and I win so that's fun um, but yeah that's seriously all the game is I think you can do something here to I think I made it so you can reset the game I don't remember how oh yes R will reset you. No, nope, R just resets your position. But if you hit escape, you'll go back to the menu and then you can start again. Now, in the future, I would like to implement difficulty levels because in the actual game, like with the Atari dip switches, you can pick a level and it has two, I think it has up to like three mazes depending on the difficulty, two or three, and one of them is invisible, and you can only see the maze directly around you, which is really cool. So I'd like to get that in there one day. But um, I'm going to play one more time. I used to have music, but it was copyrighted, so that's why I don't have any music and there's no sound. Um, but I'm going to see if I can get eaten by the yellow dragon just so I can show you what that's like. Um, and I know you guys are going to ask it, so I'm going to say it now. Oh, see, he was chasing me, and now he drags me around everywhere. <laughs> um, he actually kind of has to drag me through the walls, because the dragons can go through everything but the outside walls, but the player can't, so, but the dragon is actually able to drag you through, and that's why your camera kind of spazzes out while you're eaten by the dragon. So if I just reset, though, um, I'll be okay. And it looks like the bird is still moving everything around. The bird is set to carry something until it drops whatever it just carried. Um, I don't even think this dragon's supposed to be able to eat you. I think you just kind of like glitch into him, but whatever. And the bird used to could pick up the dragons, but I turned that off because the bird would always pick up the dragon and it would just be too easy because I could just get to the end. But yeah, like I was saying, the bird will just carry anything until it um, hits into something else and then it will drop what it was carrying to pick up the other item. Oh gosh, not you, Gary. Whoa. That's interesting. So I guess the way the teleport works when I go through, because it kind of teleports you a little bit to like push you through the scene transitions. I'm sure you can, especially if I go like this, those are the two teleport points that it will push you through to move the camera and change your color. Um, I really like the way the camera transitions look though. They're really smooth. Oh, I think, I can't tell if the bird ate the dragon or if the, I don't know what happened, but that happened. Um, <laughs> so, yes, and now I'm pinned by the dragon. But you can actually walk around with Gary around you. It's kind of funny because I don't think he's supposed to be able to eat you. I think I'm just glitching into him. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this game. I have been working on a few others, but not a lot. 
Um, and I kind of fell out of the habit of working on these recently. I started doing a 3D game and then I quit when I had to learn how to 3D model. I don't want to deal with that right now. But I know or I'm anticipating some of you are going to ask it, so I'm going to answer it early. No, I don't feel comfortable doing Unity tutorials. I know C Sharp pretty well. I feel like I could teach it, but I don't feel like I know enough about Unity to teach that. So I could teach, I feel like I could teach the tutorials okay, but um, I don't think I could teach Unity. Now, real quick before I end it off, I just want to show you kind of like under the hood. Um, so let me load the level scene and let me get rid of the menu scene. Um, so here's what the levels look like. Can I make this? Whatever, I don't care. Um, this is the game scene. So this is what the camera sees, but this is what um, you see in the editor. So as you can see, I just have all of them laid out next to each other, which is kind of obvious. And then the castles are actually like right next to each other. Um, you could kind of see it on my display. The way I have it set up in here is that you can only see the area you're in, but for some reason when I turn that, when I change it to the, like the game, it won't let me fix the resolution like this. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, but yes, that is how that all works. And like I said, there's like little transition pieces in between here. I don't think I can click on them because I think I locked them. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this game. And that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you found this kind of enjoyable. Um, I know I did. And this video is actually a lot longer than I plan on it being. So I'm sorry I just kind of rambled on. I've just been wanting to show this to you guys for a while. And I finally got a request to show you guys um, games I've been working on. So that is what I did. And here it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that subscribe button if you're new. I do Roblox tutorials and other games and anything really. And please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.